Uh, well, I don't know what to say, Mr. Hellwars. That was a pretty good video, and the the powers that be in the quote unquote truth men are going to try and drag me into this shittiness that you know for the last few months has revolved around Justin Tribble's fake uh, bullshit Bill Weld's videos and him saying that uh, there's nanites in the food, and of course all the peoples that you mentioned that went on and to attack Justin Tribble who. You know, he had two or three thousand hits on his channel, and but I mean, he was a small operator in terms of what's going on and YouTube and all that stuff. In the NSA, it's pretty easy for them to bump up the views on a channel like Justin Tribble, and take they could take views out of another channel, make one channel have less views and one channel have more views, and you know, like you said, they gave it all themselves a pat on the back for taking out Justin Tribble and in that sense I have to give Alex Jones a big pat on the back because he's the one that's come up with terms like tar baby he's the ones that's come up with terms like straw man so every time you have Jesus in Australia you got a tar baby ain't nobody gonna touch it you know like you said if you wanna believe in Jesus in Australia that's fine but I never heard of a Jesus in Australia and you know there's all these uh, you know, I'm not even going to go there. And we have, you know, straw men, sock puppets all over the place. Uh, one of those videos he posted, every time you see those little blue people, they're, they're sock puppets popping up. And then this uh, Masumer is a new character that just popped up, you know, like literally three or four weeks ago. Uh, she's, a, she's a tar baby. Everybody's attacking her, but she's running around giving people pats on the back and making videos and People were saying that, you know, they've been awake since Sandy Hook and they made some videos and they know everything that everybody's doing because, I don't know, evidently they got maybe an NSA hotline, I don't know, or they're just being shitty or they're having a shitty feud, I don't know, or dragging me kicking and screaming into the shitty feud. Uh, I decided to uh, record it because I don't want anything to do with the shitty feud, but, you know, if they're, they're going to make uh, an attempt to do the same thing is where they all run around attacking each other, the melon fucker, uh, you know, and a few of the others, and, and the, the guy who wears the pillowcase on his head, and then they're going to attempt to dox me, and, and 155 people here with the same name, so some poor bastard is probably going to wind up getting uh, harassing phone calls from this person in California and his Vonage telephony IP account, which comes up right on the, you know, I have an acquaintance here whose family works for the DOD and he has one of these Blackberry phones. You need to get your boss to give you one of them because when he calls me it just says private number. Nothing even ever comes up. That's what you want to get. Don't don't go around making Skype calls to people's houses, you know, like my friends and threaten my friends and then act like, you know, nobody will ever know about it because that stuff all gets logged. Uh, everybody knows that those things get logged. You have a call-in number, a time, it goes through a cert certain service like Vonage IP, and, you know, I'm being dragged, kicking and screaming into this. I said, you know, uh, I, didn't, I wasn't polite about it, but I basically said, please leave me out of this. You know, don't drag me into this, or, you know, it's going to get ugly as far as what people are doing, because everybody who's doing this is running around attacking other people's channels, and the one thing that's missing from the, the landscape is an intelligent discussion because you're going to sit there and ramble and rant for months and months and months at a time. I want to say 15 minutes, but every day I turn on YouTube, there's some video attacking some other person's channel, and that's all these people who are involved with this nonsense do is run around, attack other people's channels, try to make everybody in the quote-unquote truth movement shitty, and then anything that's really intelligent for discussion to discuss is left by the wayside next to uh, Dr. Bill Weld's videos. You know, so the whole thing goes nowhere. But, uh, you know, the, the one thing is uh, if you look at uh, this last piece that uh, Mr. Hellworth investigated on his own with the, the fake Mandela funeral hoax, they, they, they did have a bulletproof little box set up on the field. Uh, there are several videos or pictures of the stadium being mostly empty. There's sections of it that are entirely empty and you know they, they even the little box, the bulletproof box they had on the field 
does not match the one that's the little studio set that I pointed out. If you look at the one on the field, all the little plexiglass sections are the same size. The video Mr. Hellwars and I did, they're different sizes. The lighting's not the same. The people in the orange seats in the background aren't the same because on the field you see people with umbrellas. And none of it makes a damn bit of sense. And you can pick whatever you can pick whatever issue you want to, uh, to discuss. Some people say Obama's not not an issue. I say he's the pretender and thief. He has to go. He's done all the same things as Nixon. Nixon went. You know, Nixon only got two or three years in. Obama's on his fifth to sixth year. This guy's going to destroy the country with his Obamacare issues. Every single person that has Obamacare is uh, that's being affected by it. Over 10 million people to date have lost their insurance. There's hundreds of thousands of people, working class people in each state. Uh, some of them who are working full time now that that the uh, Obamacare requires that uh, um, that uh, people working full time, their their uh, employers provide them with insurance. People are saying now that the premiums are going up, they no longer want to provide insurance. They can't make the employees pay for it. So they're busting millions of people back to part-time. Then the people who are working part-time, they have to absorb that $498 a month premium uh, on their own. If you're working part-time making $7 an hour, you'd be lucky to clear $200 a week after you take home your money. That gives you about $800 a month, which would be enough to pay your rent, but not enough for the $500 Obamacare issue. And that's why I think the uh, the new the the website is a, is an awesome idea for people to complain, but people just feel like they're powerless to complain. They're intimidated by the system, or they just don't even care to complain. But if you get a bad cheeseburger at Burger King or whatever or McDonald's, and you go back and you say my cheeseburger is not right, I want my cheeseburger fixed. Uh, you know, nine times out of ten, that manager is not going to want to be bothered as long as you didn't eat most of the cheeseburger to replace it. It's the same thing with Obamacare. If you go to your, there's time and time again, these politicians have tried to put forth these bad programs, and the, and the old people went and complained and went to their community meetings. Now they're not, and you know, took this stuff to their Congress, and they need to tell them number one, they want the uh, this plan gone or repealed or rolled back, and number two, that they need to tell them that they want this uh, pretender and thief Barry Osterio and his fake Social Security numbers and his fake birth certificate. If you look at the birth certificate, it's rolled on the edges. It doesn't match up with the watermark, etc., etc., etc. He's got fake Connecticut Social Security numbers, and people go, "Well, that's not an issue." I mean, if that's not an issue, I don't know what is. That these politicians, they, they need to be called. Their nose needs to be rubbed in it, and they need to be told they pooped on the floor. And just like these people who are running around pooping in other people's channels, they need to be told to clean it up and stop doing it. And, you know, I even hate to make a video on this because now the people who are being shitty will feel like they are important and they have done their job. And they can go to their their, their NSA show handlers and get their paycheck and be proud that they did their shitty job. And, and the one person that uh, I dragged into this, I'm not even sure he's being shitty at this point because he's not even angry about anything. So that that tells me something right there, either he's a cool character or he's not involved in it.